Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a stamp and chat with Kay. It's so nice to be here. I tell you, I am so grateful to stamp it up right now and this work that I do sharing cards and and uh, hanging out with you guys because otherwise I think I'd be a puddle about right now. <laughs> I just said goodbye to my daughter. She is leaving for California. So we spent the whole morning drinking coffee and chit-chatting and eating cookies. And of course we did have a nice breakfast at about 6 a.m. But now all of that is in the past and she's on her way. So I said to Steve as, as we waved to her, she was backing out the driveway. I was like, you know what? It's a good thing I have a Facebook Live this morning. <laughs> it kept me focused and on target and you know I don't feel too sad so good morning welcome well you know what we are going to do a drawing on Tuesday and the winner will receive two yards of the seaside spray scalloped woven ribbon so be sure you're sharing and then come back and let me know that you've shared. You can share it in groups. You can share it on your Facebook timeline. That would be great. Um, the other thing you can do is just make comments as this video goes along. Let me know you're watching, where you're watching from. It's always fun to see where people are uh, watching. Yeah, thank you everyone. Oh, lots of you are wishing my daughter good luck. Thank you. Um, she is switching jobs and and we we are gonna miss her a lot so but you know what now I'll get to go to California and visit her and I haven't done that I haven't been to California in many many years so this will be fun all right so I have cards that I got in the mail and I know you guys are anxious to see them so let me start sharing my mailbox with you so the first card that I'd like to share it's so funny because I got two cards in a row was it even the same day? I think it was the same day. And they were both note card and envelope. You know, the note card and envelope size that Stampin' Up! sells. So it wasn't like our regular size. So it's just that one size lower. So super cute cards. Do you recognize this designer series paper? Yes, the envelope was decorated. The designer series paper is the Bonanza paper. And here it is. Cute, isn't it? So thank you so much, Brenda Hillard, for this darling little card. It just, I just love it. Look at all those balloons. Such a happy, fun card and so bright. I love it. So thank you so much, Brenda. That was very nice of you. And then I got the same day, in the same mailbox, I got another card from a downline member. And she sent me the same size card. It's one of those Stampin' Up! Whisper White note cards and envelopes. And so this one is from Tammy Nelson, one of my downline members. And it looks like this. And she uses the Ornate Garden Product Suite. You can probably tell that by the card. And it is a lovely card. And look at that perfect bow. A perfect bow, I might add. So this was a really fun to re fun card to receive. There's even some, some pretty glimmer paper on there. Which, if you love glimmer paper, stock up now because glimmer, I mean, it might even be gone. I don't know. I don't really keep track. But that is going away. We're getting some new glimmer paper, but only in one color. It's going to be rainbow colored. So it's going to be different than what we've been using. Then I got a lovely card from another downline member. This one was actually dropped off in my mailbox, and it's from my downline member named Stacy Kratz. She is um, just a treasure. She always is sharing so many beautiful cards with us, and so let me show you this one. Isn't it beautiful? So I, it's that one, it's the one stamp set, I can't remember the name of it, but it's that lovely like cherry blossoms type stamp set that's in with the Parisian suite. It's the Parisian blossom suite, I think. So maybe lovely blossoms. I don't know the stamp set, but it's beautiful. And it is carrying over. So we're really happy about that. So thank you so much, Stacy. You are such a sweetie to think of me. And I love the torn paper edges. I mean, I haven't seen that in a while. So that's kind of fun. 
And then she took her Stampin' Blend marker and colored the Whisper White ribbon. Just, um, just an FYI there. And then another card I got from a Downline member. This is from Dawn Michaels. And she sends lots of beautiful cards to me for me to put on display. I'm always just amazed. So look at this one. So you know it's going to be good when you see a belly band around your card. That's always the first sign that something good is about to happen. But look at that bow. It's just so beautiful. And she actually tied two types of ribbon together to make this beautiful bow that she stuck onto that belly band. So it goes up and down. See? So what we're going to do is I'm going to take the belly band off, which is a work of art all by itself. I'm sure you agree with me. And then, are you ready to look at this amazing card? So let me open it up for you. Look! Oh my gosh, it's so pretty! So she made all that designer series paper. That was all hand stamped. Such a beautiful card. All And you know, probably not terribly hard. A little bit of scoring goes on there but it closes up like this it's decorated with the beautiful belly band and then when you open it up just one more time so you get a look at it it looks like this so super fun super amazing I'm always just so impressed with the cards that I receive from my downline members because they are so much more talented than I am I must just be really lucky and attract really creative people to my Creative Crafters group. And then one more card. This one is also from a downline member. This one lives all the way in Hawaii. And her name is Gloria Payette. And this card is just stunning. It uses the Timeless Tropical for the main image. And then it you, you know the stamp set, Tropical Chic, that's being retired? Well, it is sort of a coordinating stamp set, so I've had quite a few of my customers get it because now they're motivated to get it since they love the Timeless Tropical so well. So once you see this card, if you don't have both of those sets, you're probably going to want them. So it's lovely. And she, she does the ghosting technique, so it's really quite stunning. So I believe what you do is you stamp the images first in... Um, like either Versa Mark or Tone on Tone ink, and then you stamp them again over the top of the tone, over the top of that ink color with the white craft ink, but you offset it just a little bit so it gives it a lot of texture or a lot of depth. It's the depth that it gives, just amazing. So this is, again, as I said, from my downline member, Gloria Payette, who lives in Hawaii, and we just we are just amazed at this card. My husband looked at it and he, he's like touching it. He's like, he couldn't figure out. He thought it was popped up, but it wasn't. It's just this technique called ghosting that just really makes, it's just a really cool look. So thank you so much, Gloria. Love the card. All right, so that is the mailbag. And these are the cards we're going to make this week. So here they are, I should say today. They're beautiful. And I know everybody's anxious to get the instructions. So let me flip the camera down and we'll get started. All right, so here the cards are again without me wiggling them all over the screen so you can get a good look at them. And believe it or not, we're using what's becoming one of my favorite stamp sets out of this whole wonderful sets, all these wonderful sets to pick from. And I've been using this one a lot. I just love the font. I love the images in it, and today we're just going to use the thank you so much. Really pretty. I will say that right before this video started, I thought, oh, I should show you how it's bundled, because right now you can still purchase the bundle. You can get the heirloom uh, frames and the heirloom embossing folders that coordinate with this. You'll have to go to the catalog and look it up, because guess what? I couldn't find it. I put it in a special spot. How many of you people have ever done that where you, I knew I wanted to use it in today's Facebook Live, and so when I saw it, I thought, oh, I'll put this here, and as soon as I did that, I can't remember where that 
special spot is. And I looked and I was like, oh my God, I have got to stop and get ready for this video and I just couldn't find it. So do check out the bundle. It's beautiful. It's a wonderful coordinating bundle that you can still get at 10% off. All right, let's go ahead. We are also gonna look at this beautiful Woven Threads Designer Series paper. I've used it multiple times. I love it. Um, it's just all the colors that I love. It's got a lot of the new in color. Well, they're not new anymore because we've got new in colors coming, but the in colors that were new last year at this time has a lot of those. Terracotta Tile, Pretty Peacock, Rococo Rose, and then, of course, my very favorite, which is the Seaside Spray. Love that color, and it's just beautiful. So what we're going to do is go ahead and get started. Oh, and guess what else? I should tell you, this card, I'm going to hold it up really close so you can see. It also uses the Floral Ornate 3D embossing folder, and that also is sitting somewhere in a special spot. I, I don't know where. I, I put it with the with those frames and the embossing folders and thought, oh, I'm going to keep this handy for when I do my Facebook Live, and I can't find it. All right, so, but I do have everything pretty much ready. I mean, despite the fact that I don't have the items to show you. So what you're going to do is start with your card bases, as we always do. These are five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. If you're like me, you like to take a bone folder and just press down those edges so it doesn't pop up on you while you're working with your cards. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a little scrap of the same color paper, which is our Seaside Spray. You're going to run it through your die cutting and embossing machine with that wonderful ornate the floral ornate folder is it actually called floral ornate or is it ornate floral I think it's ornate floral so you'll use that folder then you will take your soon to be retired one inch circle punch again I am stunned that this is being discontinued but take your one inch circle punch and you are going to punch out a couple of these little floral pieces because they're going to accent your cards then the next thing you're going to want to do is grab another little piece of scrap and this one is crumb cake so just grab a little scrap of crumb cake somewhere and you're going to take the sentiment because there's only a little bit of stamping in this card and it's the knight of navy we're going to ink that up we're going to stamp it And we're going to ink it up again, stamp it over here. And then what you're going to do is put your ink away, put the cover back on so you don't get anything inky. And you are going to take your classic label punch and flip it upside down so that you can see what you're doing. And you're going to punch out your two sentiments that we're going to use on the cards today. Then we can set this aside and get started with some other things. This is gonna be a pretty quick card to put together. It's really one of those that just is not that hard. And it's so pretty and elegant. So anybody who gets this card, it's just gonna ooh and ah, and it's, you're gonna look like a rock star, even though you didn't really work that hard at it. The next thing you're going to do is take another piece of scrap paper. This particular scrap paper is the uh, Knight of Navy. So you're going to take the Taylor Tag Punch, again, one of my favorites. You see me use this over and over. We're just gonna punch out two Taylor Tags. So simple. And then, I'm looking for my wastebasket, there it is. Then what you wanna do is you wanna take this little circle punch, and I already did it for one of them, but you're going to take the little circle punch out and put it right in the middle of your tailored, ta tailored tag punch out. So to do that, I'm going to use uh, multi-purpose liquid glue. Just put a little back here, and what's nice about using the glue is then you can just kind of wiggle it into place so you get it just exactly where you want it, as in you want it nice and centered. So let me grab a piece of scrap here. and We'll just make sure I can see what I'm doing here so I can center this in, whoops. It didn't wiggle very well. 
Let me try that again. There we go. All right, so we have our two um, pieces prepared here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some mini dimensionals, so handy. And one thing that I like to use when I'm using mini dimensionals is I like the take your pick tool. And I noticed quite a few of my customers lately have been ordering the take your pick tool because I think they've been seeing me use it on Facebook Lives and are like, yep, she's right. Get your big old thumbs out of the way. Use your take your pick tool. And we're gonna flip those little sentiments over and we are gonna put down three of them. And again, it's just so easy with the take your pick. So you're just grabbing them off the, the sheet, and just putting them right over there. So we need three of them just to stabilize this really nicely. There's one, and two, and three. And then we can go ahead and set the whole sentiment up here. So let me grab my little waste basket. And we're gonna just pick these little peelies off. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this and put it on a piece of paper so you can see what you're doing. And again, I'm just gonna use my take your pick tool. If you notice, I have kind of large hands and they sort of get in the way. So I am going to just set this in here so it looks really nice. We want this card to be perfect because it's going to one of you guys. All right, there it is, there's the first one. And then we're gonna do the second one real quick. Again, take the peelies off. Oh, Kathy's trying to help me find the things I can't find. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't in the project box. I do do that. I have little project boxes that I keep everything together. But because I think um, the heirloom frames and the, I don't know what it all was that I, oh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I did with it. I, I don't even want to think about it right now because it's going to frustrate me. And I didn't have a lot of time to look because, as I mentioned, my daughter was leaving to go to California, so I was just a little discombobulated. And we have our demonstrator meeting tonight, so, so I'm trying to get all the packets together for that and get all ready for that so that my demos can be taken care of properly. All right, so here's the second one. So we have our beautiful sentiments ready. Now, the next thing we want to do is we're going to work on some panels. So let me take the panels and again, some crazy, some kind of crazy um, measurements here, but just bear with me because if you look at the card, look how good that looks. So to have a card that looks this good, you have to pay the price and the price is crazy measurements. So we've got two pieces of Knight of Navy, cut at three and one sixteenth by four and one sixteenth, and then the the inside piece is going to be three sixteenths smaller, so that would be two and seven eighths by three and seven eighths, and then we can go ahead and just glue that on. So let me let me do that real quick. So I'm going to just take multi-purpose liquid glue. We'll just run that around the edges. It's just like a just like a race. And then we're gonna set this in here, and now we do have some nice wiggle room. So you're gonna wiggle it into place so all the edges are just perfect. And again, you'll do the same thing with this one. I'm looking around my crafting area. I would like to find a piece of white paper so I could put this down over the top of some white paper so you guys could see what I'm doing. But alas, I don't have any. So we're just gonna have to wing it. The only little scrap of um, white I had was right here. And that isn't big enough. Okay, so here we go. We got our two pieces ready. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put this, we're gonna center this in on some panels that I've already prepped for you. These are both the Seaside Spray. They're four by five and a quarter. And I ran them through my embossing machine and look at that beautiful, beautiful 3D dimension on there. And that is something new. I'm sure you can find it at my blog, Stamping to Share. I have a little 
um, tile towards the bottom of every post lately, directing you to the Ornate Garden product suite, which is an early offer. And so what we want to do is we're just going to, again, we're just going to glue this straight down, no dimensionals. So we're going to glue this down right, whoops, I, look at that, I just put my finger right in the glue. All right, so I am a little, I'm still a little discombobulated here. So then you're just going to center this in so that, you know, the right and left are pretty even, top and bottom is pretty even, and then we're going to move on to the next one, and again, we're just going to race some glue here all the way around, set it pretty much in the center so that the right and left and the top and bottom are all about even. And that looks pretty good. Let me hold it up so I can see what I'm doing. Yes. I think it's this way, this way. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to open up my drawer. I've got my silicone sheet, my silicone craft sheet, because the next thing we need to do is do a little ribbon wrap. And so I've got the, the giveaway item here that I'll give away on Tuesday. So two yards of each to each winner. And what we want to do is we just want to cut this a little bit bigger than our panel. So I've got my my little ribbon scissors here and I know it's my ribbon scissors because I mark my ribbon scissors with a little bit of the chalk marker so that I know when I grab it I'm not gonna cut paper with that scissors I'm just gonna cut ribbon helps keep that scissors super super sharp alright then I'm gonna move this out of the way and we're gonna take our snail which I will not be using for much longer I have a few refills to go through but once Stampin' Up! comes out with their new their new adhesive on June 3rd. I am very excited to order it and try it out because I've heard really good things about it. So I will get, get you guys all updated on that. Also, some people have been asking me already, you guys are really, really interested in product shares again. Well, I always do them. But I will say that because of the world situation right now, there are going to be things on back order which is not so good. And I'm not really so sure how I wanna handle that with product shares. So I've gotta think about it a little bit longer and decide what I really wanna do. So I'm not ready to really make a decision. I know I'll do some, but it may be I won't be doing all the embellishment shares or all the ribbon shares that I normally do because I just don't think it's gonna be available. We're already back ordered on some of the items from the ornate garden suite and if I can't mail it out all at the same time it's very expensive for me to do additional mailings and when you consider that you know this is more of a service to my customers I'm not really making a lot of money on these product shares I just can't afford it to do that so what am I doing here you're wondering well I only I what I'm doing is I have the ribbon already and I just wanted to know kind of where to put it, so I just put my little prepped uh, sentiment down so that I can kind of figure out where it needs to go. And then you just, you know, burnish it down. All right, so as I mentioned, I, I will do some kind of shares. I'm just not sure that it'll be the, the whole shebang like I normally do. It might just be paper, just as a preparation for you guys to know what's going on. I don't know I think I think it's gonna be iffy with the rest of the things so maybe someday when all of this is over we can go back to normal and in the meantime we just we just can't have things normal you know that's just how it is we just got to roll with it okay so now we're gonna take these uh, these lovely thank you sentiments and we are going to put them on our card right here okay so how do i do that i am going to use glue dots because i don't want to use glue with all this ribbon here but 
the glue dots will stick very, very well. So I'm putting a glue dot on the top and the bottom, and then I'm gonna put a glue dot on each of the sides. And that is going to give me a lot of sticking powder, power. So we're gonna set this in, and I'm gonna hold this up to the camera so you can see exactly where I'm placing it. Oops. So isn't that interesting? that the ribbon is the exact same size as the end of this tailored tag punch. And I'm just snugging it right up to the border of the card, but over the top of the ribbon. All right, so you guys got a good idea of where that goes. Then once I have it exactly where I want it, you just press those glue dots into place, and now you really probably can't get that off anymore without tearing the paper. All right, so then we're gonna do the exact same thing with this sentiment. Philomena is telling me she loves the blues. Well, I've got a secret for you. I've got a secret for you. This is my favorite color. And my demonstrator meeting tonight, we're doing a swap, and the swap is my favorite color. And so we got to do, we got to each of us demonstrators are picking out our very favorite color. We're making a card with it. And this is my card for the swap. So all of my downline that participated in the swap will get this card tonight. But don't worry, I'm making extras for my giveaway. So here it is. And now all we have to do is add this to our card. But you're looking at it and you're saying, well, okay, you didn't put anything on the inside and you're right. I am gonna do the inside, but we're gonna do it last. And I've I think I've got a surprise for you because I haven't shown you the inside yet. So you're going to be surprised what I do. So what I'm going to do now is we're just going to glue this on. Anytime I'm gluing down embossing like this, that's especially the 3D embossing, I do like to use multi-purpose liquid glue because it gets into all those crevices and it really keeps the card stable and in place. There we go. So we've got the card front completed. Oh, it's so pretty. I just had so much fun making these cards. Here's the other one. I'll go all the way down and around. And we're going to set this in. See, this is a very easy card to make. It's just, you know, you have to get your pieces ready. And then once your pieces are all ready, it just takes hardly any time at all. Now, for the inside surprise. So what we're gonna do is we're going to decorate it with a little bit of ribbon. So I'm gonna take the ribbon that I used on the outside, we're gonna carry that look over into the inside. So I'm going to pick up my ribbon scissors here, and then we're going to, again, use the silicone mat, and I'm gonna add some snail to the back of the ribbon. So let me do that real quick. We'll just go ahead and do both of them because we're going to finish out both of the insides. And then what we do is we just open up the card and we're going to take this and we're just going to set it right here along the left edge. And then we're just going to give that a nice press and that's in there really, really good. Do the same thing for this, this card. It's just a different look. I mean, it's something like this is... You know, you don't really need an inside panel because it's a light color, so you're, all of your handwriting and everything's going to show up great. But you do want to just do a little bit of decorating so that, um, you know, you've got something from the outside going into the inside. It's one of the trademarks of a well-designed card is to have something carry through. And so that's what we're doing. We've got the ribbon here and the ribbon there. Now you could, of course, take some designer series paper, just add a little strip, but I thought I'd do something different. I thought I'd use the ribbon because the ribbon is just so gloriously gorgeous. And I just ordered more of it because I've been using it a lot, especially for all these cards I made for my downline. All right, so here we go. Not such a long video today. So let me put out all the cards. Oh no, I didn't finish it. I have to finish it. I thought I had done the crowning touch. I hadn't. So give me another second. 
I don't even know if these are still available, but I've got a couple set aside. What are these, you ask? I have to look. They're right here. These are called the 2019-2021 In Color Faceted Dots. They will not be around very much longer. I believe they are on the retirement list. I don't even know if Stampin' Up! still has them. But if they do, you might want to try and get them if you have all the in colors because they're so pretty. So we're going to take the, the big dot and we're going to put that down here in the corner. So grab, grab your big dots. And I'm doing tone on tone, but I also think that the terracotta tile dots would also look good because it would pick up the little bits of terracotta tile in the designer series paper. But since it's a favorite color swap, I just went with the favorite color all over. We'll take the medium sized dot, set that here, and then we'll take the little bitty dot and we'll just drop that up here somewhere. All right, look at that perfect, perfect little scatter of gems. And do the same thing over here. And one more, just a little scatter right here. There we go, now we have perfection. So beautiful. I hope you guys have enjoyed this today. Here is, here is a whole bunch of cards. Aren't they just beautiful? It is so much fun to create on camera for you guys. So thank you so much again for joining me today. You guys have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful weekend. And I will be back here next week on Tuesday with another Facebook Live. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.